slow motion crisis is unfolding in this country on coastal farmland. Little by little, salt water is mixing with fresh in a process called intrusion, destroying acre after acre of soil and costing farmers millions of dollars. Here's National Environmental Correspondent David Schechter. I love life. I love watching things grow. On Paul Cartanza's farm, two and a half miles from the Delaware Bay, he faces an emerging threat his father and grandfather never did when they were farmers. Salt water, which kills corn, is getting into his crops. One study estimates salt intrusion could damage up to $100 million of mid-Atlantic farmland each year. There's probably 12 or 16 rows of corn that we would use to plant here when we didn't have the salt intrusion. So this would have been pointless to put corn here because it wouldn't make it? Uh, yeah. The area where salt water meets fresh water is called the salt wedge. With climate change causing sea levels to rise, more salt water is pushing up the river. And during a drought, less water is flowing down. The combination allows the wedge to push even further up. And that's what happened last summer in Philadelphia, which gets nearly 60% of its water from the Delaware. Salt water moved 20 miles towards one of its drinking water intakes. You see the tops of the dead trees. Holly Michael, a professor at the University of Delaware, studies salt water problems, and the biggest one is how it impacts our drinking water. Salt is corrosive. You know, for example, if there are lead pipes, uh, you certainly don't want lead corroding uh, and leaching into your water. The agency responsible for managing the Delaware has released water from dams to push the salt back downstream five times in the last 10 years. We should be worried about our water resources. It's a, a connected system, yeah. so every piece of it matters. Cartanza was worried enough about the problem to invite scientists to install pipes, tubes, and instruments on his farm to study what's happening here in hopes that they can find ways to adapt to the changes. I just want to know what's happening in the soils and how fast the intrusion is coming in. David Schechter, CBS News.